what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm jess i'm from new jersey but today i'm not in new jersey this is going to be a san diego california vlog i'm also going to palm springs on this trip so that's going to be a whole separate video so make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that it's gonna be an exciting vlog this is my second time ever here in san diego and the first time we went was like a year and a half ago i have a vlog from that if you guys want to check it out but we had such an amazing time so i'm so excited to be back we're gonna be celebrating my birthday here today's tuesday may 16th my birthday is on thursday the 18th we arrived around noon we actually did a rental car through turo which i've never done before hopefully it goes smooth throughout the duration of the trip but the pickup went pretty smooth we're staying at the king's inn hotel in san diego this was like one of the cheapest options i can find so i'll link this down below because so far it seems pretty decent it's nothing fancy but it definitely does the job and i'm happy with it i'll link that down below as well as any restaurants or anything that we do any of the activities attractions we had some time to kill before we were able to check in at 4 p.m we got some tacos earlier tacos are amazing so definitely recommend the taco stand for some casual tacos and burritos we walked around the gas lamp just drink a little bit we spent a little time at ocean beach we just relaxed not super hot here it's like in the high to mid 60s sunny slash cloudy just checked into the hotel got ready and we're gonna head out to dinner morning now wednesday may 17th and it's looking a little gloomy i remember looking something up and they said they have something called the june gloom here in san diego but it looks like we're getting a little of that this morning but the sun's supposed to come out in the afternoon it's supposed to be a high of 70 so pretty decent weather we're gonna head out to breakfast we have a reservation at park house eatery and then we're planning to explore la jolla and go to torrey pines get a little hiking in we had dinner last night in the old town walked around we went to casa de reyes which we went to and we came here last time. I would say it's probably like a little touristy but still pretty decent food and a really great ambiance. The service is really quick and nice. It's probably just like a little pricier because of where it's located. So we're gonna head out now and take you along today. University Heights neighborhood. It was really good. The service was amazing. Every restaurant that we go to in San Diego always has incredible service. Everyone's just so friendly here. We're driving over to Wind and Sea Beach now and La Jolla. So we're just gonna check all that area out.
It's almost 4 p.m. and we just got lunch at the taco stand, but the La Jolla location. Very good. We also got the churros, which were amazing. Now we just drove up to Torrey Pines. It's almost 4. We're gonna do the Perry Grove Trail and then we'll see if we want to do any others. I'm hoping at some point we get a little bit of sun, but if not, hopefully we get a little sun tomorrow. <laughs> This is a really short trail. It says it's 0.14 miles. Pretty views. Nice pretty viewpoint and there's a paraglider in the distance. these little needle things here. They're actually kind of big. There's a golf course in the distance. It's our third day here, Thursday, May 18th, so today's my birthday. We're heading off to breakfast. We're going to the Mission, which was one of our favorite breakfast slash brunch spots when we came here last time. So we're gonna go to the Mission, their location at Mission Beach. They have a few scattered around the San Diego area. Brunch was amazing as I remembered it being there. The pancakes are so good. And I had the avocado toast, which was also really good. We're at Balboa Park. We're gonna explore here a little bit. We're not gonna go to the zoo because it seems like more of an all day event and expensive. So I think we're gonna wait for a future time when we come back, see the zoo then. But yeah, we're gonna explore Balboa Park. We go to Coronado Islands after this, just to check it out for a bit. We got some blue skies coming out.
many flowers. I love it. It's a little after 4 p.m. Spent a little time exploring Balboa Park. We saw a few things that we didn't see the last time we were there. Some trails, we were just walking around. Some trails that were really cool. We didn't pay to do anything. There's a lot of museums there that you can pay to go in. We just don't have that much time. So we just walked around the grounds for free. Spent probably like an hour or so there. Got some photos. We just drove over to Coronado Island. We're gonna check out the famous Dell Hotel. And it's really cleared up today. I'm so happy because it's blue skies, sunny, 70. So this is perfect weather, perfect timing for my birthday. Very grateful. And then we have our dinner reservation soon. Sunset Cliffs Natural Park. It's beautiful. It is very bloomed. I think it's called the Super Bloom. So there's these beautiful yellow flowers surrounding us everywhere here. The sun is going to set in about 40-ish minutes, so we have a little bit of time, but dinner was incredible. Highly recommend that restaurant. I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce it right, but it's a Sarina. It's an Italian restaurant in the Point Loma area, I believe. Handmade pastas. You can actually watch them make it, so very authentic. They were so kind and gave us a free tiramisu, which was incredible. He made it right in front of us. And they took a little Polaroid photo of us, which was so cute. Highly recommend that restaurant if you're looking for good Italian food in the San Diego area. Excited for the sunset because it's been clearing up a lot. Hopeful that we're going to get a decent sunset. What are your thoughts on the restaurant? It was really good. 10 out of 10? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely recommend coming here for the sunset. I'm not sure how long the flowers last here. I'm assuming it's not year round. Or maybe it is, because the weather's not too big of a disparity for the weather here year round. But definitely recommend coming to the sunset cliffs.
Friday now. So this is our last day in the San Diego area. We're gonna be making a lot of stops as we make our way to Palm Springs. And then Palm Springs is just gonna be an entirely separate vlog. So stay tuned and subscribe for that. But I'll take you guys along today as we make our way basically from the San Diego area up to the flower fields at Carlsbad. We just checked out the Sunset Seat, which is really close to the Torrey Pines State Reserve, popping into the Torrey Pines Golf Shop to get a monogram golf ball for my dad. And we'll just keep making a couple stops along the way. We had the most incredible day yesterday. I felt so lucky that the sun came out. We had a gorgeous sunset. I mean, it was a little cloudy, but it still looked stunning at the Sunset Cliffs National Park. I'm excited to just like see some new places along the San Diego County area. checking out Powerhouse Beach in Del Mar. It's really nice here, lots of surfers. flower fields in Carlsbad now and it's beautiful here. It's so colorful. It still looks really good considering it's only open for another two days or so. By the time I get this video up, they'll already be closed I think for the season. sunflower section here as well. The blooms are looking great. We just left the flower fields at Carlsbad. Definitely recommend going there, although unfortunately, it looks like the season right now is ending on May 21st. Today's the 19th, so by the time this video goes up, I don't think you'll be able to see those fields, but it says they're open year round, so maybe they do other ones. So it looks like they also might have a plant shop there or something.
checked back into the King's Inn San Diego Hotel. We stayed here the other day for a few nights, but this time we're in a king room, so we have a king bed. It's a good economical hotel. This was like one of the cheapest things I could find. I was also even looking at Airbnbs, at least for the time that we were visiting. This place was a bit cheaper. I would recommend it if you're looking for an economical option for hotels in San Diego. When we walked around Coronado Island, it's a little breezy, so we didn't really sit on the beach. We just walked around the town, walked on the beach. Gonna freshen up a little, head to dinner. We're gonna go to Buona Forchetta in South Park. They also had a location on Coronado Island, but we're gonna go to the South Park one. Early dinner, 5 p.m., come back. Our flight leaves tomorrow. It's been such an incredible trip. Mm -hmm.